Um, and so I guess my question, is there a reason that we can't just recuse ourselves from that item if it were to come up? Uh, as a member of the committee, I'll answer. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to speak to this, issue, this item and not the next item okay. right now. Um, we uh, felt we, there have been community events that the city has supported on which a member of the city council sat on a, as a board member. Uh, one event had two members of the city council and one event had one member of the city council and the members of the city council were always the people who ran them and uh, in, in our experience so far, not looking down the road. Uh, however, it, we, we've received a lot of criticism that we give a lot of money to our own council members events and um, it's been several years that we felt we shouldn't do this and the time has come up when I, I felt that it was time to add that we were not going to give uh, guidelines for, we were not going to give money to community events that had council members on their boards uh, of the organizations that were putting them on. And, and I feel this is a good, a good thing. We're giving it out to the community and we're not giving it to our own pet projects. And maybe Mr. Tony uh, Trembley has uh, a better explanation. Uh, okay, you wanna oh, thank you, Mr. In? Mayor. Um, so speaking only to policy 1.15, the one we're on right now, <clears throat> um, I agree with what Mrs. Craven said. Um, I think I had this discussion when I first came on the council uh, in terms of my discomfiture with having a council member who is a director or officer um, um, uh, be uh, or ha uh, uh, of a nonprofit which was receiving uh, city support for, for community events. Two quick things. One is the staff report says that there's additional language restricting funding to 501c3s. It actually says that those 501c3s are ineligible for funding. Prohibits. For director or officer. I just want to be sure we, we I wanted to clarify that. Yeah. And secondly, um, as Mrs. Craven and I discussed in the policy committee, uh, I felt very strongly that um, it was not appropriate uh, for folks to walk around to do the pass the hat. Uh, at the community events. I just didn't think, I thought it was inappropriate, uh, but certainly not centralizing uh, or having a centralized location or an announcement where somebody could make uh, that. So those are two of the most important uh, items, I think, um, among the changes in this policy. Um, how about I wait to speak to 1.112 when we're on that? Is that okay? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Anybody have any, Mr. Moshe? I have one question and or a point of clarification. In changing this, we have, we're throwing around three terms, monetary support, in-kind services, and also we make, we also talk about funding. Is funding, and the word funding, is that to mean both monetary support and or in-kind, or and in-kind services? Is funding Because we, we, we differentiate the two, but then other times we just say funding in general. So I'm wondering what the definition of funding is. Is it monetary or is it in kind? Because I don't see, it's not, to me, it's not clearly spelled out here. I'm just wondering if we want to make that clarification. I'm specific to the reference. I, I, it looks to me like it's both because where it talks about the funding source, funding will be allocated from general fund for the upcoming fiscal year. And so... We're paying for that in-kind service. It's going to come from the general fund as well as uh, a, a direct uh, monetary, direct monetary support. So that that was my thought on it. Well, do you on, think we need to spell that out here? Under E two, where it talks about the application process, it says and number two says to enable the allocation of limited funding for support, and then three it lists all of the the dollar amount in-kind services. Well, that goes along with what I said. Yeah. Uh, when there's a, a differentiation to be made between cash funding and in-kind support, that's pretty well s spelled out where it matters. Um, so so I, I think generally the rubric for, 
funding encapsulates both of those okay. ideas. That's my question, and I want to make sure that was the intent. Yeah. Okay. I, may I? Yeah. I think that's at least the intent, notwithstanding, uh, notwithstanding paragraph A on big page three, which big makes page it, what? Big page three under A under eligible events, and I see where you're coming from, Sean, because uh, that that does use the term funding oh. or in kind services. Mm -hmm. So it, the we use need to of change the that. the use of the language is in the disjunctive, so um, that would imply that it it doesn't cover both. But I think the intent was that it covers both. So uh, what we could do simply uh, in that paragraph under A is uh, may provide monetary support as as the change has been made up above? Yes. And then that would clarify that. I, I would support that. Does that help? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, are there any other questions? I have a question. I just want to make sure that I'm reading this right, that it does not necessarily preclude a council member from joining a nonprofit. It's just that they cannot be on the executive board. Is that An right? Executive or any other board. Well, no. Let's say I want to join the Lions Club. Okay, well, and we get funding for the Lions Club, so I can still be a regular Lion member, but I'm precluded from being on the executive board. Or well, some places have an executive board that's only three members of a larger board, and then they have a general membership. Right. We didn't talk about the executive board. We talked about the board. Well, may, may I, Mr. Mayor? Yeah. So it's not just the executive board. It's if you are either a director on the board of directors of the 501c3 or you are an officer of that organization and typically those you know there's a larger set of directors and then a smaller set of officers who are also directors then that's who it applies to so it's not the executive board if for example I'll just use myself as an example I'm a member of, of Rotary I'm not on the board of directors of the Rotary Club I'm not on uh, for either the Rotary Club or the foundation uh, I'm not an officer of that organization. Rotary, I, to my knowledge, has not come before the city and asked for any funding assistance, but that would, if I were to go on that board or uh, be an officer, that would preclude that organization from being able to request mm -hmm. monetary, uh, I want to say monetary funding, sorry, monetary support <laughs> <laughs> or, or in-kind services. So, Right, but you can still be a... I can still be a member. member of, sure. That's, for instance, as we talked about at the Rotary Club. Right, but I'm not in leadership, so I don't have anything to do with, with those decisions. And then as far as, like, passing, for lack of a better term, passing the hat, like, you know, this summer, if somebody did want to make a financial contribution, they were still able to do that in a different way. We just didn't go through and pass the hat, if you will. You just wouldn't be having individuals walking through the crowd with their hat or what a basket or whatever out uh, collecting funds. Uh, it would be a, we're fine. The, the policy committee was comfortable with it being in a centralized location. So it could be a booth and someone could make an announcement saying, we would really appreciate donations for the concerts or whatever event this is. Could you please um, uh, uh, donate at this centralized location, if you wish. Thanks for that clarification. Any other questions? All right. Move the approval. Second. With the one change on page uh, three, mm -hmm. big page three, first page, in A, under eligible events, to change the word funding to monetary support. Second. Oh, second that. I think Sean beat me to it. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, please vote. Uh, that passes unanimously. 